dive in, I want to reiterate what I let you guys know before. Um, the next few games will be RP heavy. Doesn't mean combat's not possible. It's just not uh, planned or forced. Uh, so this is going to be a chance if you wish to use it to role play your character and grow in that manner. It can last as long or as short as you want. It covers quite a few things, information gathering, things like that. Good time. I rather enjoy this as this, this part of the campaign, but there's going to be quite a bit of it. So <clears throat> if you're not enjoying a certain aspect, then you and your characters can just move on. If you are and don't feel like you need to move on or get through any particular part because it's not structured or built in such a way where you need to be looking for uh, the door. It's intended for enjoyment purposes, not to jump to the end. And with that said, where we left off in our game was right here. You guys were uh, the destroyers of the black gem at the end of the game before last, which then put you in a position of discovering that this gem contained a halfling in shackles, four hellhounds, two hezru, and a glabrezu. They formed a guard around her, telling you that their prisoner was essentially none of your concern and to fuck all the way off. You did, indeed, but having a uh, guilty conscience or, and or change of heart, you decided to go back and through the adept sneaking uh, subtlety of Agile Smoke, you managed to follow them and locate a place where you could ambush them, and that was this location. The battle was fairly uh, one-sided due to your preparation, and some confusion spells notwithstanding, which should now be gone, we ended the game at the top of the fifth round, right after the Glabry Zoo ended his concentration on the Confusion spell, and cast a new spell, which was Fly, and flew around, flanking Dranga between him and the Hezru. That was at the uh, end of last round. That was where it was. The uh, green circle it is a moonbeam, I believe. and the Hezru and Glabrezu are flanking Dranga with ill intent down to the very south. One Hellhound was killed by the Moonbeam, and they are apparently holding the Halfling in detention, I suppose would be the way to phrase it. So that's where we're going to be picking up. Did anybody have any quick questions, comments, concerns, or complaints before we get going? I have a complaint. All right. Like well, five hundred years. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> and with that, we're going to pick up directly with Agile Smoke in his attack. He has not taken his uh, action. Indeed, I have not, sir. Um. So I shall throw another strike. Uh, I do have Hunter's Mark on somebody, right? You did. Oh, do I? Hold you on. might have killed today. Yeah, I'm thinking. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. I do believe my Hunter's Mark was on one of the Hezru that we killed. So I'm going to then use a bonus action to move my Hunter's Mark um, onto the, uh, I guess the Glamour Zoo. I guess so.
There it is. And then I'm going to throw a psychic blade at Sig Lab Review. Moist, moist, moist. And we'll get him with a little bit of sneakity sneakity as well. Is it okay? It's... Okay, okay. Um, actually, yeah, seeing that. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, and that's going to be my turn. Nice, one second. Go ahead, spirit. spirit. Alrighty. Let me, for some reason, I don't have the. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and move on up a little further here. Get a bit within melee range, and I assume that uh, Dranga is flanking us here, so I get advantage on the attacks. That's correct. Sweet. Just making sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go in for the double attack on. With the short sword, and that's a miss on the first one. Oh, that was meant to be an advantage. I'm just going to go ahead and roll that again. I think it was advantage. Yeah, that was that was the thing because I I meant to put it at advantage. It, it doesn't matter. It was a miss anyway. Either both, either one. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead, Flurry of Blows, and just make it <clears throat> hit advantage this time. You can hold down the control button when you roll, and it will take care of that for you. Yeah, I did hold down the control for whatever reason, and that didn't do anything. That's weird. Finally. Nice. Hey, oh. Heck yeah. And a two on both of them. <sighs> hey, it's better than zero damage. Yeah, that's true. All right, that's all I, that's going to do it for me. My turn, my turn, my turn. A fucking smash, a smash. I think I'm so raging. Should be. Double check. Rage. And, okay, so I will, how many hit points do I have? More than zero. No, so I will, um, a reckless attack. Oh, true, shit. That's what I'm saying, you might as well be doing all the Oh, right, yeah, yeah. No harm in it. Makes me different, but... I did, I did. Oh. Um, okay. So I will attack twice to the Glopper Zoo. Because we can suck a Menard. That's not great. Oh no. And a schmaggity schmaggity again. That sucks. Really sucks. That really sucks. I'm sure it's fine. Um, so then... Let me just double check on this, but... Okay, Tony, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we talked about this at one point. Um, if I was raging already, would I still be able to enter a frenzied rage at, after I had already raged? Yes. Does that use <clears throat> a rage slot, or does it just go into a frenzy? It does so. <clears throat> excuse me. Let me double check. I don't. Let's see. So I know frenzy. Um, hypothetically, I, I believe the rules as written is no. It it uh, you can't. You have to pick when you enter a rage. But gotcha. for the um, I disagree. And so what I believe what we decided earlier was you can choose to enter a rage in the middle of a i'm sorry in a frenzy in the middle of a rage <clears throat> and what that will do is give you the bonus attack but okay. the difference is 
it does it and the, and the balance in my head that i created and uh yeah it'd be for the, you, it, would start the it doesn't one. use another raid yeah it doesn't it doesn't use another one of your rages unless you want it to but it also cuts the duration in half because 10 rounds you use it now what do you got five six rounds instead of 10 yeah okay so then, if you want to get the full 10 rounds you have to use another rage basically yeah. okay so no so i won't use another rage but i will enter frenzy as my bonus action so then i won't be able to use my third attack now but i'll be able to start doing that in my next turn so then how do i, I just apply this at this point just do that I don't believe it's required that you enter the rage because rage is a I, I disregard. Go ahead. I know what you were saying. I misunderstood. Yeah. Just <laughs> ignore what I said. All good. All good. Okay. So then um, I did my two attacks. I did my bonus action to enter my frenzied rage, and that is my turn. Alright, so the Hellhound is going to continue to do what it is doing, and that is guarding the halfling. Putting it to Zombie. Hey! Jim! It's time for Zombie Punch. Finally. Oh shit, double natural oh. 20. That was Two like natural count 20. for anything. Isn't that four times the damage? That's like 18 times the damage. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> sorry, Kimmy, sorry. Ow. Okay. Yes, kill him! Get him! <laughs> Swap to that. Someone has rolled that nat double natural 20 at some point. And then he's gonna try acid splash. Oh no! Okay! That's it. Alright. This <clears throat> hellhound does his continued guard. The Hezru, on the other hand, is going to use start with his stench ability this is the one that hasn't had its effect on you i'm sure you're enjoying that he has a different stank than the previous one. Oh yeah right but having succeeded on it now you are immune to this one for the next 24 hours so we don't have to worry about that but <clears throat> with the claws and bites he brings both those claws up trying to bring those down upon you and cut you but with his ally behind you he is bringing those down with uh oh fuck balls slashing across your chest and then the opposite direction also downward and after he opens that gaping wound up he tries to snap at you but apparently one of his claws caught on a uh, loose bone somewhere in there alright the Glabre Zoo is still inside yeah, that should be 40 10 so do that twice ha <laughs> There you go. Uh, we'll keep that constitution saving throw. I yep. turned off. Uh, that actually reminds me. <clears throat> I actually don't have their roles showing to my uh, other group. How do you guys like seeing the DM roles versus me it, it just showing a role and a result? Do you have a preference? I like seeing I'm, them. Doesn't matter to me. Let's see. Yeah, I'm good either way. <laughs> uh, just a random question that popped in my head. Okay. <clears throat> so... The Glabre Zoo standing there inside of the beam of light. He is going to target 
Dranga with his attacks. He's going to attack with both his pinchers. The first one is... Go. I'm going to bring that pincher forward. And come out with a hit and getting an attack. He's going to bring that other pincer forward. And that one's going to give another attack with the pincers. This is the first time he's actually entered melee combat here. <clears throat> when he brings that out <coughs> and he grapples Gr Dranga with that pincer. Now, uh, bear in mind, he holds you and he uses his small hands instead of punching you to cast another spell. This time, it drops the <laughs> it drops the fly effect on him, and let me apply the concentration effect to him. Let me cast. Shit. Um. Alright, so he casts a spell, and as you can see, a large area oh, yeah. around him <laughs> drops away from your sight and is now dark. He is engulfed in a globe of darkness. Huh? Woo. Okay, so fuck. <laughs> I don't have anything that can dispel that because saving my third. No. How does how does Moonbeam and Darkness interact in terms of light effect versus so, darkness? So there are a select few spells that can dispel darkness. In terms of Moonbeam, it will still do its damage. Uh, I believe it's a level 2 spell. It will still deal its damage. It just essentially shines down from above <clears throat> and disappears into the darkness globe. Mm -hmm. Not shining. The, the darkness overpowers the moonbeam's light, but not its damage. But I can see. What better moonbeam, Roland? <laughs> I... What? <laughs> It doesn't work like that. I, I upcast it to level 4. Try the level 6 version. <laughs> I don't have level 6. Yeah. Level 4 is all I got, man. Uh, I can't heal Dronga because I can't see her. <laughs> and I can't hit anybody because I can't see them. Unless I do an area of effect spell. What do I have? I got nothing. Fuck. Do I have to see somebody for ice knife? <laughs> it says at one creature within range. Doesn't say I have to see them. No, I have to make a range spell attack. Fuck. Uh, can I just shoot? Uh, oh, what's frostbite do? I have to see it. Fuck. Can I just throw a fire? A produce flame at uh, at where I think the Globber Zoo is? Like where I last saw it? Yes. <clears throat> okay. So uh, essentially, this is actually something that a lot of players get pissy about or argue about. Well, I can't see. I, can, I well, If I'm invisible, I can't be attacked. You can always be attacked. Yeah. The difference is when you can't see him, you get disadvantaged because you're relying on sight and sound and smell and Sights cut out, so you have to rely on the others. So you can still target him on the combat tracker. You just need to give yourself disadvantage. You okay. really know where the Hezro is, though. You can you have advantage actually to find him with just smell alone. <laughs> he's a stinky boy. But you got to get close enough to get a good face with, just like a just a mouthful. Not even a, a nose. Does a, a nineteen hit the Globber Zoo? 
Oh, I have to drag it over. Let us find out. I... Hey! Hey! Nice. Hey. The, the, the damage. I'm just going to put it right where my moonbeam is, and hopefully that goes on top of them. That's Did. Okay. Cool. And bad roll, bad roll. Shit. And that's all I can really do right now. Just keep the moonbeam where it is. This thing's eventually going to have to fail its concentration. I'm just uh, going to read something real quick about Hunter's Mark. Maybe it has that surprise ability where you can see guys in darkness with Hunter's Mark, you know? <laughs> yeah, I still doesn't say that. Maybe next edition. Alright, I guess I'm going to just throw a disadvantaged psychic blade uh, into the darkness to try and hit the... The one who we are trying to hit, but Nick Labrazoo. 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 I need to keep on him, so I'm going to try to uh, use bonus action and throw another one at him. Duly noted. Better, better, better. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. So it has the, the less damage. Less damage. But nonetheless. Not bad. Um, yeah, and I guess that's my turn. Cool. Spirited Knight ignites Dawnbringer. <laughs> don't know if that's going to do anything to dispel the darkness or anything. Yeah, he said Globe of Darkness, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's read this, read it and find out. I need to give you an effect for that. <clears throat> does it have an effect for that? Let's see. We got. Uh, yeah, it does. It has an effect for that. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. It's the effect of I forget. Igniting and extinguishing Dawnbringer takes the bonus action, right? I believe it does. Right. I would have to pull up your... My understanding. Yeah, you can use a bonus action to make a blade of pure radiance spring from the hilt or cause the blade to disappear. So... And Dawnbringer has all the properties of a sun blade. So. It does. But, unfortunately, it does not have the ability to cancel out in this dark darkness spell. I'm not going to say that it can't. So the general rule for spells like this are that <clears throat> they, uh, they cancel out spells of higher level. So if it's a second level darkness and somebody casts a second level daylight spell they would be in conflict you can make a roll but if you cast a third level it would cancel it out but because it's a magic weapon it you can't upcast it any more than you can do anything else and it's treated as a, a, a spell level based solely upon the rarity so high enough level spell will block all magic items they just can't be that powerful So, but you can give yourself an effect, which is right here. Yeah, I already did that. So, all right. Well, I'm still going to try and use my Dawnbringer to uh, attack this thing. Let me, where is Combat Tracker? Uh, here we go. I 
that was supposed to be a disadvantage. Uh, I guess I'll just Hold roll again. that again. Mm, guess that's a miss. Nuts. Mm. Alrighty, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my second attack and. I managed to hit it. Oh, that's a miss. Okay, okay. That 20 on a concentration? God damn. Alright, that's all I can do. And, and generally, just for clarity here, the Sunblade can cancel out darkness magic. Oh. It just isn't canceling out this darkness magic. Oh, fair <laughs> yeah. enough. Uh, so I just didn't want there to be any misunderstanding where the Sunblade just can't cancel out darkness. It absolutely can. Yeah, like a darkness level 2 spell. Right. Not a, not a dark globe just... or whatever this is. That was a good idea, just misplaced in this <laughs> instance. Alright. Oh yeah, no. It's yeah. worth a shot, for sure. Yeah. Well, um, I am fully PO'd, so I am going to just start swinging like crazy. I'm going to do uh, reckless attacks. So I'm guessing that'll just be a straight roll, but should I still put the reckless on? He's still flanking, I think. Should have... Uh... Yeah, if you're hitting the Globber Zoo, it's still flanking, so regardless, <laughs> you get advantage. Is it, though, because I can't see them? Oh, no idea. You get disadvantage for uh, not being able to see them. You get advantage for flanking. So if so, I put reckless, standard. do I get advantage again? Believe it or not, no. God dang it! <laughs> so that's did, not the, that's been many yes. a question. So did my so 20, I would back then. So did my first twenty one hit all the after all then, or was it still a miss? That did not go to the glasses. Oh, yeah. yeah, see, it didn't give me. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, so then, that's my first attack, and I've got three, so I'll do my second attack. Hey! I'll let you do your crit before you take a hit from that automatic miss. Oh. <laughs> Unless... There you go. Okay. So, uh, I, I ask you in the, that first 21 that I, that, uh, that I rolled earlier, the, uh... When I mm -hmm. th does that still act as a hit, or does it, or do, does, does does that still a miss from when I rolled that twenty one followed by that ten, or that thirteen followed by that two? I should say. Did you have advantage? Uh, no, that was I. I rolled that at disadvantage, well, but I I I was still flanking, so I wasn't sure if that canceled that out or not. It should have, yes. And okay. since you rolled the 21 first, you can go ahead and roll damage for that, because oh, okay. <clears throat> if you have flanking and invisibility, it's just a standard roll. I mean, right. you could always apply the advantage and disadvantage if you like clicking the pretty buttons. Oh, alright. <laughs> I'll, I'll I wait. personally find I, uh, wait, I'll wait to do my last Oh, wait. Darn. I... Yeah, I'll try that again. There we... That should... Now that he did that, the <clears throat> Ezro is, takes advantage of your distraction ah! as you swing. He bites you on the shoulder at the same time, the Glavrezu taking his opportunity to punch you. Because that's no fun if you can't, uh, or not, uh, to just clobber you in the side with that pincer that actually completely missed. But if he could have, he would have. Then you can continue with your other. The globber clobber. Uh, also, I totally forgot. I'm supposed to be using my slasher feet. So I'm adding my slasher feet now. Uh, effect, effect 10 feet on this asshole. Uh, there you go. And then I will do my third attack. Hey, wait. You got a bite and a pincer attack on me for my freaking thing? 
Oh no, the Hezru got a bite. The Glabrizu got a pincer. Oh, what the heck? Gotta watch those nat ones when you're surrounded. Well, that freaking sucks. Um. Oh, healing potion is an action, isn't it? Fuck. Well, I am. Super group group. Zombie hey. to the rescue. Uh, I can't. Oh, there he is. I was about to say I can't see him to make a punch, but uh, I managed to click on. I managed to guess where the zombie was standing. So he's just gonna punch. Kill him! Oh, kill him! Kill him! Oh no! I'm assuming that misses the the globby. Yeah. All yes. right. And what Coasterkus is gonna do is he's gonna. Clap his hands together and rub them together and cast Dispel Magic at 4th level on where he believes the Glabrazoo to be. Nice. Where he last saw it. Get yeah. it. Uh, I've lost connection to cloud service. Players may not be able to join the game attempting to reconnect. Uh oh. It's the error. It's the chat message I just got. Postricus cast Dispel on the server. Rude. Instantly killing it. Wow, good job. Yeah. A major fail. Or a major win. Not sure which. No, try and roll something, somebody. I saw someone's yeah. dice go through. <clears throat> it went through, so I don't know. It's working. Go ahead and do your attack. Oh, I cast Dispel Magic. Do I need to... Uh, I... Do I need to, ca to uh, roll anything? I need to verify his spell casting a No, you dispel the darkness. At yes! Four. Yes! Hooray! Yes! And then he gets blinded Hooray! immediately by the, um... Nice. <laughs> the Dawnbringer. Oh, I... <laughs> I can <stop! laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what is that, uh, radius? Am I in that? Uh, 15 feet. Um, so, no. So nice, say, you, okay. I was about to say, you should be you're, standing you're just, just on the outside, outside that. of it. Yeah. There's like a glare, so I'm gonna blame that on why I'm missing a lot. On the plus side, and the glare is blocking most of the light for you, so. Competence. Uh oh. That, that Hezro comes in, the darkness uh -oh. goes down, and as soon as Dranga pops out of the darkness, those two claws come flashing with a fanged bite. Uh -oh. He actually snaps. He cuts her across the shoulders and actually latches his claws into her shoulders and bites a chunk out of her throat. Mm. I didn't think this went through! Oops. The glob- the globbery zoo uses his, uh, movement to essentially discard Dranga's corpse off the edge. Fuck. No, he fucking didn't. Oh fuck! <laughs> what an ass! <laughs> he turns <laughs> and looks no! at as Dranga falls, free falling. The Glabry Zoo turns and attacks Indomitable Spirit directly. Full force, since he is holding this cursed dawn blade. 
getting one hit with the pincer and effectively grappling spirit now that his pincer is free of the dwarf and he brings those little fists up and pummels with one and misses with the other leaving spirit bruised and slightly irritated uh You forgot Gronga. the moonbeam damage, Tanner! Oh, fuck, I did. I did, too. I was so distracted with fucking Dronga getting thrown into the water. Uh, yeah, I'll do the moonbeam moon beam damage now, I guess. Hold on. Stand by. Not that it'll kill him or change anything, really, I don't think, but, uh... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And then, uh... Fuck. I, can I still see Dronga? Or I guess if I, I mean, move over one a little bit. In you the can see her falling. She's falling into the water. I'm pretty sure it's water down there. <laughs> it is water. Okay. Yes. That's not necessarily a good thing. No. So I kind of want her to be alive for that. So I'm going to cast uh, Healing Word at level 2 on her. Swim, damn it! I can't swim! <laughs> oh, fuck. Dwarves can't swim, I forgot. Uh, -huh. uh, that's my action, or, no, that's not my even my action. That's just a bonus action. So for my action, cast Frostbite on uh, the Globber Zoo. And it succeeded, so I don't know what that does. I think I don't even do any damage with the cantrip. Yep, it's only on a failed save. Okay, done. Um, seeing, I know I don't have much time on my turn, but is the water moving below us or is it stagnant? It's stagnant. Okay. Um, Dronga's still falling, correct? Uh, yes, and you can't see her. I can't see her? Oh, okay. That's a, that's a solid pathway. Oh. But I saw her go off the edge. Yeah, you saw him toss her. Uh... I am staying here to think about this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to turn into a bat. So I'm going to... Oh, can I? With the light in the room. Does the light reach me? Look like it, right? The light shouldn't, Let I don't me think. see. We can see. No, the light does not reach you. The light is extended. I can literally put it on here. Uh, where is that point? Let me put it on him. Okay. It so goes first, to right here. First time doing this, how do I how do I uh, pull over my bat? My bat boy mode. All right. So we've never used this before. Cloak of the bat. Yeah. So, uh, in the area of dim light, oh, it, it works in dim light, then, then that's actually only out to here. Okay. Yeah, so since you can use dim light while well, wearing the cloak, uh, you cast essentially cast polymorph on yourself. What you're going to, uh, I gotcha. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your actions tab. Yep. Uh, I, I changed, you can leave the bottom one on polymorph permanently. You pick the one you want, which obviously is bad. That's yeah. And then you just click active. Oh. Did that work? Okay. Uh, no uh, valid targets for agile smoke, so can't activate polymorph. Mm. But the click on myself right. first. I feel like Probably. I did. Probably. Yes, let me put Bat back on there. I took Bat off just to clear it out. You will probably have to target yourself just because of the nature of how 
this works. So that's back on there. You should target yourself and click active. Did that work? Aha! And and you get a bat sheet. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm then going to fly. That was an action, right? Uh, just cast polymorph, so I'm gonna fly to here with 30 feet. Thank you. And any of my my cunning action doesn't count when I'm polymorphed, right? Correct. Okay. Not wild shape. So you guys would see smoke, or maybe you wouldn't see him, but all of a sudden there's a bat flying, uh, trying to chase down after Dranga. And I suppose that would be my turn. For now. Spirit is basically going to do her best impression of the TF2 Heavy and scream, I am going to kill you and kill you and kill you. As she brings Dawnbringer up and just down on the Globbers' head. And as she goes for a second attack. Sorry, Roland, I didn't see that request. No, I just put it in now, so it, it when it comes to my turn. It explains why I didn't see it. Yep. And she's just going to yell out, why won't you die? Now, uh, she's now she's grappled. Does that mean she can't do like flurry of blows or anything of that nature? Or? Nope, doesn't affect your attack in any way. Sweet, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flurry your blows then. Nice. If being grappled doesn't do anything stop except to stop you from moving. Ah, oh, well that's a miss. Alright, well that makes, it for the th that makes it for my uh, four attacks from earlier where I missed three and hit one, so... So Dranga... You take a yep. hit, numerous hits. You're oh, yeah. missing a chunk of flesh. You have some blood all over your chest. Your eyes flicker aw awake a fraction of a second before you impact the water. Uh, just but, a quick so, question. Uh, Did any of those attacks cause him to try to make constitution saving throws or anything? Or... I didn't see. see any of those. I don't think he has a spell up. have uh, the concentration uh, spell. Okay, yeah. never mind yeah. then. Alright. <laughs> he did until he got dispelled. Okay, never mind yeah. then. <clears throat> so, uh, there is no actual rule on falling from water. I'm sorry, falling into water. Uh, the standard rules say 1d6 per 10 feet of falling. But, as a general rule, if you fall into water from less than 100 feet, it's different than if you fall into water from above 100 feet. So as a general rule, what I do is if you fall into water from less than 100 feet, I reduce the damage by 20. Or I'm sorry, by 2d6. And if you fall from above 100 feet, it's just like hitting solid stone. Yep. Up, the upside here is that Dranga takes uh, just 3d6 damage, which isn't enough to kill her. Oh. But we will nice. we will take off this frenzy, this grapple, and your rage before we apply yep. it. Yep. Uh, but even then, you still have enough life as you hit the water and bob there. Nice heal you roll. Do not necessarily. Yeah. Because you would have taken the damage one way or the other. The difference is it would have given you a death saving throw. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid. <laughs> so you're in turn. the water. Yay! You're I'm fucking You're stupid. not like rage pissed, but you're pissed. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking... I'm pissed! Because I'm not really pissed about it. <laughs> Let's just hope that there isn't any aquatic <laughs> nasties what? in there for you to worry about. Okay, so, yeah, that's my big thing. It, you said it's like a straight-on cliff face? Yeah, it's climbable. 
Okay. But it's uh, it's not it's it's all the way to the water. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Oh shit! Am I exhausted technically right now? You are. I am working on that as you were asking about it because I have my effects minimized. Uh, it shouldn't be too catastrophic. I haven't applied an exhausted in this fashion before because it doesn't actually have one. Let's see. Oh, exhaustion one. I love these effects. Not that you're exhausted, but that I don't have to create them. <laughs> so uh, exhausted one isn't really that big a deal to be completely honest. Well, I know if you're exhausted at first level, all of your ability checks are at disadvantage, and I'm about to try and climb the sh heck out of here, so... <laughs> it's true, but it's not exhausted, you know, the worst kind. Yeah. But it is a athletics six. check. Yes. If I rage again, do I get... I get advantage on my strength checks again, right? So I would come that out even... That is correct. <laughs> On my but you would lose it at the end of the next round, or at the end of this round as well, because you would essentially spend... Oh, or I'm yeah. sorry, if you don't attack for your next round, you would lose it. But yes, it would negate your exhaustion. Nah, okay, never mind. So I would... Um... You have hand axes? <laughs> yeah, let's pull out my little hand axes. Just, just like what? fucking climb the wall, just uh, randomly throw a hand axe up straight and see if it hits them. I've done that before. She just throws it randomly into the air. It soars in an arc and hits <laughs> at just, the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, I will just climb then because I don't know what else to do. Oh, okay. Well. You can try scurrying. Yep, just doing it really fast, not even caring. And I'm going to try and go as fast as I can. I don't know what my climbing speed is, if anything, but my speed is 35, so. So when you're climbing, um, essentially it's difficult terrain. So gotcha. your so speed is, and it's rounded down. So essentially you're able to, it's, a, it's 50 feet, and you are going to climb a, uh, at difficult, I assume, double move. So you're going to get 25 feet up. Yep. Wait. 35 half. 15. I'm Wouldn't sorry, it be, it'd be 35 feet? Yeah. So you got 35 feet up. Alright. That's my turn, I guess. Dang it. Alright. Zombie's just gonna keep punching. As he do. As he do. Um, as he do. It's all he can do, because he keeps getting screamed at by the lizard wizard. He's trying his best. He's doing the best he can. That's yeah. the really soft zombie punches. It's just like... <laughs> his wrists are already like jello from punching this guy, so it's just like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, and we're just going to keep going with... Uh... We're gonna do, you know what? Do a little fireball. We're gonna do a little fireball. We're gonna see. Oh, we got the fireball right there. There you go. There you go. I go get that fireball. Oh my god. That's twenty. It's a shame. Oh, um, do it to him. It's a shame that the globbers did not and... fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Damn. It didn't. Uh, you'll have to drag and drop it. You. Um... Oh. What? The... what? What the fuck just- Whoa, hold on, what just happened there? No, I dragged and dropped it onto the Globber Zoo. I, was about to I killed the bat. Rip bat. <laughs> fuck that bat. <laughs> right. I don't know why the fireball applied- Hit points applied... exceeded by 15. <laughs> let's too, let's make sure it's bad. going to the right person. Instant death. Alright, put yourself- <laughs> Whoops. I will put you back into bat mode. Uh, let's see, damage that... 9 to Globber Zoo. I don't know how that applied to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Might, maybe I, <laughs> Smoke got caught in the crossfire somehow. I, I can't go either! <laughs> crossfire, you'll get caught up in the... Oh, I'm sorry. Have a good time. Alright, All right. anyways, that's so, it. So, it did hit him. 
and the Hezru. And are you stealth while using this, or are you just trying to stay near the ceiling? Ah, uh, yeah, no, I was beelining over towards Dranga, so I'm not that stealthy. All right, a Hezru. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Does the BMB He's going to take a swipe at you. That and black. He's going to take a swipe at you. Oh, Jesus. He's uh -huh. going to... Eat you. Hit you. Immediately. And unlike the Firebolt, this one won't be reversed, and you are suspended in the air for just a second in very Looney Tunes fashion before nice you fall. <laughs> and we'll call it 55 feet so it doesn't boost your damage, but, you know, it's still 50 feet. Thanks. <clears throat> A Globbery Zoo, on the other hand, is not super happy about its current situation, and it is going to attack... Indomitable Spirit with two pinchers. The first one here. I'll wait till you do... Oh, I see your damage here. I wanted to make sure it rolled before I rolled mine because yep. if he's dead, then it doesn't do anything. I'm getting that Spirit. And... Fuck. Bringing those fists in. Fuck. Fuck. Double ones. Oh. And a Fucking close. Hellhound's coming back. Fine. Proved as requested. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh. So torn. Do I move the moonbeam just a little bit so that it hits both of them next turn? Or do I heal with healing? Where is bonus action? Or do I transform? Fuck! <laughs> Too many options. Decide. While you yep. do decide, I'm going to mute my mic. Fair enough. No, fuck it. I'm going to heal. I only got first level spells left, so there's some healing for you. Oh, that sucks. Oh. My level one. That's better than I only have two level one spells left, and the level three just and the level three is for revivify in case anybody dies. So, uh, fuck. Let's uh, uh. I might have to back back up. I can't hit anybody though if I transform. Mm, that's actually an action, not a problem. Leaves my action already. That's a problem. Okay, well, if I have to, mm -hmm, I have mm -hmm, to. Mm -hmm. I'll wait until Spirit's dead, I guess. Excuse me, poke him a drink. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's it. That's done. Take my bonus confidence. <laughs> well, I can only heal you so much. It's more I, of a I'm a fucking shitty healer. <laughs> I still do have that one uh, thing of Kegathorn's ointment left, but that takes an action for me to use, so... Yeah. I'm gonna hold off on my turn for a sec, just because I think I gotta hit the ground first. <laughs> hey, grab onto the wall as you're falling. Might as well. I mean, that'd be cool. All right, so you are falling. You are falling from 50 feet. You only take 3d6 damage as you fall down, down. You're taking 18, but at least you're not, at least Dronga didn't take 18 because that would have been a shitty day for Dronga. Yep. Um, I don't know what movie this is from. But I kind of want to like hit the water, and then immediately spring oh, out of the water, all in like one fluid motion. <clears throat> where I then cut to the wall, 
and immediately start climbing up it. I have a climbing speed of 20 per uh, term. Well, 20 movement speed. I'm going to use feline agility and my bonus action so I can climb 80 feet this turn. Okay. Yeah. So, assuming that's where you were climbing. Yeah, I probably am. Okay. As soon as you crest the edge, the hellhound takes its readied action. Oh, oh boy. boy. And he unsurprisingly snaps out at you with his one bite and automatically misses. Nice. You see, this is he was he was the runt of the litter. Oh, can I, sorry about I, that. I hit the wrong button. Yeah. Can I use my um my reaction to get him? Yeah, absolutely. Let me move it back up to you for posterity's sake. Give it to him. Oh. Oh no. Luckily right. for you, you can't attack of opportunity Ace. and attack of opportunity. Whiff whiff. So missing entirely on that was intentional because I just swing it around with the blade and throw it at the Glabrazoo. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And then I will... Oh, fuck. Yeah. I will bonus axe and throw another one at him. Full turn. Full turn. No, oh my god. Now that, on the other hand, does provoke <laughs> the two attacks of opportunity. <clears throat> but not from the hellhound who already used his. The uh -huh. Hezru spins around and takes a, a bite Okay, I'm gonna. Um, I think I have to declare this beforehand. I'm gonna uncanny dodge that. Okay, and it, does it negate it entirely? Nah, it's there. I just put it on myself, but I think I put it on too late. Um, half damage. Drowned. it down. Let's do it this way. Click half. Click turn to healing. So it heals six. All right, put you at 33. <clears throat> and you are, unfortunately for you, within range of the Glabrezu, who is slightly distracted, but not distracted enough that one of his forearms can't snap backwards and try to punch you. And, you know, by sheer luck, that pincer smacks into your hip, doing only a two and a one, so... Though you were hit, it wasn't horrifically. And I, I hate to screw myself, but I think I actually misplayed the uncanny dodge. I think it's a reaction. Then mm -hmm. I used mine for an opportunity attack, so I should take the, the six damage back. Applied. Okay, that's my uh, turn, yep. Indomitable spirit, you're having All a bad right. day, and you can't move. I was gonna say, and yeah, she's still grappled, so uh, she's not gonna be able to do much of anything, except uh, just focus on the love of her husband and son, and just channel that into killing this fucker. That was almost a one. Nice though. Power of love rolled it over. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Second attack. Oh. Rip, Bozo. But it already used its reaction, so. Oh, you found. Oh. Good. Well, third flurry of blows. Oh, come on. Nice. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. 
I was really hoping that would have done did it in. Mr. Kill it. Mark uh, my words. So if I'm not mistaken, it was a 50 foot climb. I've made it 35 feet. And you can go another 15 feet, which will put you right to the edge. You can attack with any one-handed weapon. Which I think is my great axe. Let me double check. Am I... Yeah. No. Yeah, great axe is two-handed. You probably have some weapon on you that's... Javelin is one-handed, and the longsword can be used one-handed. Yeah, is it uh, is it an action to pull it out, though? It's a free action. Oh, okay. All... Okay, so then I'll, I'll do that. So I will uh, I'll rage, because I know I'm getting close to the top. And I'll be like, you motherfucker, and do that. There we go. And then I will climb the rest of the way up. I'll do my check first. that. Okay, perfect. And then I will attack the Glabrazoo with a javelin. Fucking yank it out and go, fuck you! Out of curiosity, is Dronga flanking with the Glabrazoo with spirit, technically? Well, she would be. No, just the Hezra, right? In this instance, it doesn't... Well, I think it'd be... Yeah, it'd be both. She's flanking both. Oh, okay, ones. gotcha, yeah. I see it now. I see it. At this point, it doesn't matter. You can yeah, just roll I mean, damage. I mean, I could get a critical, though. It doesn't matter. Alright. Spirit left at one hey! point. <laughs> oh, I come back from the dead to fucking uh. sleep! <laughs> Throws her off uh. the cliff, and she climbs back up and stabs him in the kidney with a javelin. Don't step into the moonbeam, please. I mean, to be fair, Jonga deserved that kill, so... Yes, you did. Oh, I fucking deserved it. Goddamn right. Um, and... You know what? I'm gonna use... Because I still have another action. You do? You have your extra I'm attack. I'm gonna use another javelin at the Hezru. Now, am I throwing them or am I stabbing them at them? It's your call. I was going to say, I would stab, but I don't feel like throwing them would be very efficient. That's fair. <laughs> Damn it, that was so close to being an 18. Bullshit. Don't forget your advantage. Oh yeah, shit. Okay, here, let me just go again. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you! Alright, I will take it, and I'll just... Hang on. Yep. <clears throat> Hang in there, Draga. Oh, good job, kill I need the cat poster. <laughs> Charge uh, ahead. Zombie is just gonna take a step, almost take a step forward before Kostrikus grabs onto its, uh, <laughs> the hem of its robe. He's like, no, no, no stop! <laughs> <laughs> just punch him if they get close! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and now Kostrikus is going to cast He's going to try Acid Splash again Because uh, I think it also has A very minor AoE Let me ju just double check I have not used this spell Oh, hey Okay Two of them Nice Good news, guys Acid works <laughs> On the Hellhound. On the Hellhound! <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Good job, good job. The Hellhound comes running up and spits a cone of flame. Oh, fuck. At the kindly 
let me roll this without targeting you. I don't know if it'll be appropriately halved, and I don't want to deal with that. So he spits out a cone of flame there at Agile Smoke. Do you have anything to half this damage or anything like that? No, I do not. There, like, you can half a dexterity saving throw damage as a rogue? Yeah, I just don't have that yet. Well, uh... seven. He's oh, relatively thought, oh. low level rogue. Class. Right, right. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right. The Hezru uses one of his attacks and he swings a claw at Dranga. Get uh -oh. fucking pissed. Ah, oh, man. No. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. He sends her falling again. <laughs> And what he does is he moves to here. Cool. Zombie punches. Moonbeam damage. <laughs> zombie punch. Punch your zombie. Zombie punch. Despite Tronga's rage. Ah, fuck. I'm fucking annoyed. Going down, down. Now, here's a question, Tony. Um, you may ask. Uh, do you think the zombie is bothered by the Hezro stank? He isn't, I don't believe. I, I don't believe the undead can be poisoned. I believe that's the only thing they're immune to. It is true that he is immune to poison. And you have to start your turn there. Fair enough. All right. Just you figured out. Did the zombie get his punch? Let's see yep. there. Okay, good. So he moves... And he brings that claw at spirit. Hit spirit. Mm. Drop spirit. You're like my front line! It's so fast! <laughs> and he moves. He uses his last action. Because he has three attacks. He uses his last attack to step forward and shove the zombie off the edge. Oh, no. oh. The zombie. <laughs> oh. oh man! My front line! <laughs> oh shit! Then I'm close to you. Run. God damn it! Oh, I... I'm going to assume that with the spirit just kind of collapsing forward, that Dawnbringer just immediately extinguishes. <laughs> it does. So yeah, we can remove that light effect. <laughs> See you again. I can see it again. Nice. I made him smaller. There we go. If, One if I cast if I cast healing word on Agile Smoke, that Hellhound won't know that he's up again, right? Or both those Hellhounds won't know right away. No, they. I mean, until he moves, they don't know. Cool. Okay. Uh, so what? Everyone's dying, and I can't take a whole lot of hits from this guy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Can I move Spirit to behind me? Can I just kind of like rotate you her can, around, grab her, and rotate you her can, around? You can drag her. So, okay, but then I would be moving out of range and then I'd take an attack, right? Okay. Oh, fuck. I can't use... Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, boy. You know what? Fuck it. Okay, I'm just gonna... Bonus action, giant constrictor snake. Yep. Gonna have to. Oh my god. Yep, I'm huge. And... I don't know I if I have something. enough. I have something for that. Okay. Hissing. Everybody likes hissing. No. Not everybody. And then, uh, I will attempt to constrict the Hezro. They all hiss. 
Oh, fuck oh. me. God <laughs> fucking damn it. And the dice are... Fuck off, <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> like, super fucking up. What? Oh. Uh. Everybody close Fancy Grounds, reboot, and change their dice color. Ugh. Fuck, succeeded. Moonbeam's you still up. <laughs> That's nice. That's con solid consolation prize. Uh, I only make one attack, right? Yep. Okay. That's that's it for me. Okay. One success. Okay. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck. Oh, uh, Dranga. So close. <laughs> it is. No. <laughs> Dranga hits the water with a uncomfortable squelch. Let's see. Was that a... So you took a failure automatically for the damage it's tracked. I made sure it was tracked. <clears throat> uh, the zombie Zombie. Fall. Full round action yes. to fall. Hey, he's still Taking alive. 16, <laughs> 16 points of damage. He hits the ground. Uh, I'm gonna scooch you each over just a hair to make yep. sure you're both where you uh, need to be. See. Thank you. Hmm. 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 Just give me one second to just ponder something here. Ponder Although away. I think I know, I think I know what Kosturkis is actually gonna do. Run up! Yeah, he actually just runs away. Yeah. Just like fuck this, <laughs> all around to just flee the way we came. I That's don't he... blame him. He can only do half damage, and he's only a wee lizard, and he didn't want to do this in the first place. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> No, it's a good choice. I feel bad. I, Malachi feels bad because Drakus doesn't. All right, so long as one. <laughs> of us okay, we. <laughs> so long as one of us survives, the dream is not dead. <laughs> it's uh, the uncom then it comes the uncomfortable reality that Kostrikus has only survived this long because of the party. <laughs> now, besides Roland's birthday, kill them all. Hey, all right, that Hezru takes his damage, takes a failure. Ooh, full damage. Full damage. <laughs> so he's bringing them claws to bear. Fuck. With a miss and a hit. Gets a uh. chunk of snake meat in his mouth and a cut there. And Moonbeam goes away. Can I use an inspiration oh. dice to re-roll that concentration? I don't know how inspiration dice use works. You can. Go ahead and re-roll it. Looks like Woo! you need Let's gotta roll it re-roll a d20. It. Yep. Or, or con it's a constitution, so you get a plus oh. three, and that does it. Oh, yeah. huge. Uh, I'll let you put it back. Yeah, yeah. Super clutch. Oh. I have 104 hit points. Who? Me? You? Yeah. Oh, Giant constrictor snakes are fucking damaged sponges like a motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Well, my sheet it only says 60. It, I believe the dice roll it. Oh, cool. Dice roll it. Roll these. All right, giant constrictor snake. All right. What do you got? Well, since uh. Save real quick before you do that. Uh huh. That stank almost overwhelms you, but you hold out. Nice. Uh, so. Hmm. 
What do we want to do? I'm going to try to constrict again. Fuck it. Fuck. Lord, it's actually I can't really do anything, so fuck. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Oh, fuck. A little bit, a little bit. This sucks, I hate it. Alright, we will click through Indomitable Spirit. Oh, okay. oh I'm gonna have to... <laughs> so that's... She, if she has three failures, she dies, right? Yep. Yes. That is okay. correct. Okay, I'm gonna write it if I have to. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Zombie's in the water. <laughs> uh, zombie... Hmm. Drowns. <laughs> How deep is this water? I mean, he's bobbing. So it's, okay. it's not... He's, he can swim. Nice. I'm assuming he can't perform a medicine check. <laughs> he can't. Yeah, it's well then he's just gonna continue. Finite. He's he's been he's been abandoned. He's just gonna continue bobbing and Kostrikus is gonna continue fleeing. Run away. Uh effect uh, consider me and the zombie out of combat for the purposes uh, from now on. I shall. The Hezro is going to consider this uh, giant constrictor snake. Uh, a tasty, tasty treat as he tries to eat him. Forget Moonbeam! Right. Oh, Moonbeam. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading up on my wild shape shit. It's okay! I got you. It's all you, it's all you got! <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna... Fuck. Sucks. Okay, I'm trying to see if I can drop. I can't. Rem I couldn't. Can't remember if I can drop wild shape as a bonus action or if it's just a free action to drop. I think it's free. Let me check. I like, think you it's just also... believe it's free. It's like a concentration spell. You just stop concentrating. I agree. That's it what is. I would think too. It is. Yes. Are you I just can't. gonna? Are you just gonna cycle? <laughs> Cycle wild shape. I, I can only do it twice though, <laughs> but oh, I gotta I gotta get somebody else in the game or else like I'm I can't hit enough to like hit people and yeah have enough time to save everybody. So I gotta. You got. So I'm gonna this. drop it. Whoops! That's was... no. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally stopped concentrating. But I meant to just change back into rolling. There we go. Let me get that concentration back up. There we go. And I'm going to use my action to force feed. Uh, I'll get back in range, but I'm going to force feed a potion of superior healing down the spirit's gullet, which is 8d4 plus 8. Oh, nice. nice. That came in clutch. One, two, That's three, where magic four, items are for. Five, six, seven, eight. Where are you? Oh shit! Put the Especially spell over here. Actually, since some death rolls were coming. <laughs> I did have one. I, I I still have my inspiration point. I was going to use it if I failed my third roll? saving throw. Did that roll? Did that roll for you? No. Shit. I didn't see it yet. So it goes. Three, Three. four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be able to just drop it on me on the combat tracker. Yep, Probably. that's what I just tried there, and it still didn't work. Weird. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna drop it in the chat and. C three four five six seven. Throw it in there. Yep. Oh, you can just type slash roll. That's easier than the dice. Nice though. Twenty nine. Nice. Holy yeah. cow. So that's twenty nine healing back to, spirit. Ah, oh, thank you. <sighs> And what are you? What are the other two at? You're at uh, one and one. How many? One and one, and Dronga's at one and one, or one uh, and two? Two, two saves and one, one fail. Bonus action healing word on <laughs> on uh, agile smoke. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you. So he's not rolling that anymore. And that's that's all I can do. <laughs> Continues fleeing. <laughs> yeah, my he's, cat's, he's, uh... he's, he's getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm lying on the ground, right? You are. With two hellhounds literally focused directly on you. Cunning action. A disengage. Before I do anything else. I'm then going to... You... Yeah. You disengage where? You can climb. But I'm going off the side, like, right into crawl mode. So I'm just trying to, like, disengage. Like, basically flip over and start crawling on the side with the intent of crawling sideways. <laughs> now we need to. Something like that. Seems reasonable. So a little bit more, yep, yep. And then the so bonus action. Feline agility. Yeah, I pull myself up to here. And throw a psychic blade uh, at the Hezru. I guess my hunter's mark would no longer be effective, right? Correct. Okay, that's fine. Throw my psychic blade uh, at it with my action. Oh, yes. nice. Do it to him. Do it to him, do it to him. Tell him. Oh, 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 fuck. That's, uh... That's all I got. That's all the options. Balls. And your mother smells of elderberries. There's my turn. Go ahead. Spirit. His dick. Uh, all There's right. The spirit. <laughs> As she raises to her feet. Up. Oh. I'll move over so spirit can be out from under. <laughs> That's real. As you take your uh, your first breath of freedom. Spirit, I'm gonna move oh. it because you, said it. You, you take a first breath of freedom and you get that Hezru stank in your lungs, poisoning you. But you do get up, so it's better. Well, okay. as she gets to her feet, she lets out just this primal scream of rage as she brings her short sword up. Yes. Yes. Ghost Jerk has quit too early. <laughs> Hey, he's a cowardly kobold. That's that's fair. And then as she brings her sip, her short sword up again to miss. No. Ah. Ah. Fuck. Mm. Good not good not good. Okay, you can tank. He dodges this. that short sword. Fuck. He dodges that short sword and clamps those fangs down. Okay, but you're not down. You're not down. That's not down. You're good. That's you're not good. a that's not a, a grapple or anything, right? It's not. Okay, cool. She's gonna go ahead. She's gonna use mobile. She's gonna get the cunning action. Get the fuck out of dodge. And just kind of, you know, kind of step aside. She's like, I'm gonna take a breather over here, if you don't mind. That's fair. Good call, too. Ghost Jerkus is. Coast Jerkus is over here, just, you know. <laughs> so, Drongo's stable, just face up in the water? Yeah, face up, definitely face yeah, up. Face up, floating face on up. Back. Yep. Yep, mm -hmm. you fell on your back, obviously, because you fell off a cliff. Yeah, um, I'm not going to say I, I don't want to be face up, but I mean... It's kind of just random, so... Yeah. Hezro raises those claws to cut you down, and the radiant energy finally overwhelms yeah. him as he vaporizes. Yeah, fuck you. And as he goes I... down, those 
those hellhounds apply the coast jerkus method and they just fucking haul ass does anybody have a strong desire to try and kill one of the hellhounds or you don't want to let them run i can try moving my moonbeam over to it i can take a pot shot with my short bow and are they gonna try and take the uh the girl with them yeah is the halfling long gone no the halfling is shackled she can't go anywhere. I mean, she could, but it wouldn't She's with bad. another hellhound that's gone. Uh, yeah, I'll just move my, I'll use my action to move my moonbeam to there. Uh, is it like, and then, yeah, I'll use a bonus action to use my last first level spell slot <laughs> to cast healing word on Dranga. Thank you. I'm assuming I can get her from here, but no. I can also move up. I can move up. About 50 feet down. 50 feet down. I got 60 feet, I think. Where is the spell? 60 feet. Yep. So I can get you. Whoops. Eh, night. I'll just drag that up onto you. Or not. There we go. And... That's my pot shot. Can I use a... Is it like a free action to like give somebody another item? If I was wanting to give like... You can throw it, they just have to pick it up. Okay, well I could have dropped uh, two yeah. potions of superior healing at... Uh, smoke and Spirit's feet. You can drop one. The second one is uh, an action. Uh, okay, I'll drop one. They can fight over it. Um, smoke and have it. I've still got that Kegathorn's healing. And that's uh, it. Smoke is going to use a bonus action to cast um, uh, Zephyr Strike on himself. Which gives me uh, da, 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 da. thirty additional movement. So I'm gonna move. Don't forget to pick up the potion. Nope. Uh, I'm going to <laughs> move. Uh, yeah, right up to there, I guess. Uh, how far away is this bastard? Oh, it doesn't tell me the, the distance for some reason. Uh, he is. I don't know. It isn't showing me either. Let's. 60 feet? That's close enough. I'll say so. That's just the range for the daggers. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and throw said dagger at said Billy Donk. Um, and I have advantage on the attack because of the Zephyr Strike. So. Uh, oh, I forgot to hold advantage. Do -do -do. Hoping that I'm not overreaching here. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck, I think it was full health, huh? Um... Okay. That's my turn because I can't step into the moonbeam. Don't want to step into the moonbeam. Sorry. No, no. I'll dispel it. As soon no, as this guy's dead. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> That's I technically already took my pot shot outside my terminal turn order, so I'm just going to go ahead and just say that I did that and have the. Uh, unless that was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that I, I rolled my attack and did my damage as opposed to uh, when I did that. <laughs> Since I technically did it outside the turn order. Pick up the potion. Uh, sure. Is it on... Is it on the ground? I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you... Cool. I'll put one in the 
fire sheet later. Or, or I can just hold on to it again. Doesn't really matter if you're going to give it back or you can use it. I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> climbing the fucking wall. <laughs> can I, can I be climb this fucking wall? standing at the top? Yeah, I'm I'm standing at the top, yeah. Okay, I'm climbing and I'm looking dead at you and I'm going, thanks, don't fucking move. You better pull me up when I get there. Can do. And <laughs> that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit's, Spirit's gonna go ahead and move over to Roland's side to give him assistance. Huh? All right, this hellhound takes off as well. I didn't kill him. Yet. Holy shit. This one's gonna run, and he, right. he is not gonna disengage, therefore provoking an attack of opportunity. And, oh, yes. <clears throat> and he takes that uh, attack before he runs. So, his one hit point, I'll let you kill him. Oh my god, one hit point again. Fuck. Uh, I'll immediately the spell my moonbeam right. after he's dead and just for posterity's sake i think we will save the role playing for next game but you can't beat the narrowly avoided tpk well oh. yeah died. fuck that was close oh. Guys, I literally was making a new character. <laughs> <laughs> we lost our kobold, though. Well, we'll find him eventually. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of debating if he just didn't stop running and thinks you guys are dead. <laughs> he might. He might until we show up and then you go, ah, ghosts! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tony, I might talk to you about making a new character. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, he, like when I say he's gone, he's, like, he's fucking gone. Like, he just completely left as fast as he possibly could. I'll leave that gonna, up to you. I'm going to think Obviously, on it and I'll talk to you about it. Yeah, he could definitely be caught and reminded. He, he's not gone that long and he's definitely can't outrun a tabaxi. So they could well, how, catch him. What's the, re, what's the range on your on Smoke's uh, telepathic ability? Not not that far. Oh, okay, never mind. I think it's like 200 well, feet or 30 feet. Well, well, he only, not, he's only been gone for two rounds. At some point, he would start flying away, I think, honestly, just to get as far away as human, as lizardly possible. That's fair. We'll see. Like I said, I'll think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, GG, everyone, thanks for not... Oh, uh, fuck. Not mm -hmm. You guys are welcome for being Good alive. <laughs> MVP, rolling the MVP. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, took zero, took zero damage the entire <laughs> Yeah, Roland was definitely MVP. <laughs> absolutely. Holy fuck. Hey, can I give Roland all of my inspiration? I just found a rule that says players can give other players inspiration if they have inspiration. I still have one. Yeah, I have two. Oh. Let me get back to you on that. Okay. I still have at least one, and I'm holding on to that. Like I said, I, I was going to use that inspiration point if I had failed my last death save. <laughs> I, I, I'm so glad I used it for that fucking moonbeam save. Oh, that uh, concentration yeah. save. Yes. Fuck. Just out of curiosity, oh. where uh, I have to roll a d20 for a, a death save, right? Yes. Uh, let's just roll it just for the funs and giggles and see what would have happened. Would have saved. Uh, we saved. Roll it again to see what the next one would have been. All right, sure. Oh, that. Uh, let's. Save. One. Nice. All right. How many did you, you still needed? Three though. Yeah. Yeah. Would have been two. Oh, oh fine. You, nice. yeah. you would have been, been fine. fine. <laughs> I would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all righty. I just had a. I just had a roll. Just for you know. Morbid curiosity. Yeah, no, sake. fair enough. <laughs> hey, so. your damage was needed in that uh, end there. Yeah. yeah, it was. It absolutely was. Uh, that's why I love playing monks. <laughs>
So. Yo. Good night. <laughs> Good night. night. Good 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 night.